how y'all doing? What's going on? Welcome. If you are watching the replay, thank you for being here. I am doing a image of Poncho today. My my trusty companion. What I did was these are just these are oil pastels. What I did was I sketched it out lightly here, as you can see in some of these areas. And then what I did was I took a white and I put it down on certain areas. You probably can't see it, but it's like right here, over here, a little bit. There's some under the eyebrow here and there. And it's too... It's to, um, so I can scrape it off if I want to with my sharp tool. And that way it'll reveal the white underneath it. So I can get some details like little hairs stick out or just little, little spots like that. What's everybody been working on? What's the, what's the, what is that? 411? I don't know what that part is they say. Poncho is a dog that we got, we got from the pound, actually. Sort of. Um. His owners were unable to care for him. And the minute I saw his picture, that was that was all she wrote. We weren't gonna get another dog for a while. You know how you say that. Because we're dog people, we get we get dogs. I'm just looking at things to make sure they're showing up okay on the on the screen. Everything looks fine. He's pretty spoiled. These oil pastels I've got. Like usual, I've got several brands here. Um, there's Munchio Gallery. I was trying to see one that had a... There, you can kind of see the label. Um, Paul, just regular Paul Rubens. And then I've got some um, Haya pastels here that are also made by Paul Rubens but they're more like a Sennelier so I've got them and I've got a few Sennelier over there to use the Sennelier's are the softest they're more like a um, kind of like a lipstick texture they're really soft And I'm hoping I can get his, his coloring in here with these pastels. First, I'm shooting for the eyes. He's got those eyes that are, you know, look like they're outlined. Looks like he's got eyeliner on. I 
And this is the same white I put underneath things too. And if I start scraping it off, you'll see why I put it underneath some areas. He is a Jack Russell. wire haired is what we were told he was he was registered and all the, the whole spiel but um we just didn't feel it necessary to have the papers the papers were destroyed in a house fire unfortunately And so we could have gotten them, but, you know, from the, wherever it is you send for papers like that. And see, I now, now I put some white underneath here. There's also some heavy equipment being used outside just down the street so if you hear anything hear anything that that type of that's what that is and you can tell here I've put white underneath it Uh, maybe not so much. That blue may be a bit much, but I can always lighten it. You can definitely tell over here. I wonder if I missed that part. My husband was texting me. I hope he's, I hope it's not any kind of emergency. And I'll just slowly build this up. He's probably asking about the men working out in the down the street there. Well, let's get his other. Yeah, and you'll probably hear Poncho barking at them, too. He doesn't like... Yep, there he goes. He doesn't like strangers around. I'm going to try and lay down all the colors before I start scratching anything so I can use it more for just the details, just the details. Mm 
And he's coming back inside now. I know you really wanted to know that, didn't you? I really like oil pastels because they're so portable. The only problem I have with them is I really, I haven't found a way to seal them adequately. without framing and I just the, the expense of having to frame things anymore to frame them properly so I do a lot of these just in my sketchbook so I've got them some of my sketchbooks I can just are perforated so I can just take the pages out and that way if I do a study of something I can that I need to be able to to look at I can I can take it out easy enough and just tack it up on the wall or whatnot or on the easel Trying to figure out just what this color is right in here. It's not really a gray, but it's not really a yellow either. Uh, no, I was going to try, try to zoom it in a little bit, but since I'm already already on the air or live, it won't let me. Or see it back right there. He's got some little tufts of hair that come out. I'll get those with the uh, with the sharp tool. And this is I. I really don't want to add a black, so what I'm using is a is a. I think it's a Prussian, no, sapphire blue. <clears throat> and that with the brown together. Will make a dark enough value. And I can just layer that on there. And it's new enough that it, the ends are still flat so I have a little bit of an edge there looking around his eyes has just a hint of something and I want to be able to get the I'm going to go ahead and looks like right in here. It's really white. And his eye goes down a little bit too.
I hope this is gonna scratch out. Not like I wanted. We'll make it work. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry about that. Hey. Hey. Pancho, it's okay. He's here in the hey guys outside. They're putting up new telephone poles. Or not telephone poles, but you know. The poles. For power lines and whatnot. I did try to do this same one the other day on on a canvas and it just didn't work. Like I said, I'm trying to figure out a way, way I can do these without having to worry about framing them quite so much. That's too dark. I'll lighten it up here. I don't have a huge color selection, but um. We can make it work. So if you use oil pastel, let me know what brand you use down in the comments. Cause there's, it, I was surprised. I thought that I really, I hadn't used oil pastels since back in school probably. And all I had ever used were like the Pentel. And they're just, they're not the best for anything with detail or, and they have an odor. They sort of smell like petroleum, um, like gas or This blue, well, I don't think that's going to help. I couldn't get the 
these hairs by scratching them out. Then I lay down that white and then scratch away the white that way. And that'll help get me some detail. He's an awful smart dog, too. As you would suspect from a Jack Russell. He's also a little neurotic. He'll do things like bark at anything. He's a great watchdog. Especially if I ever happen to be here by myself. He definitely lets me know. Trying to keep away from having these little pieces and these little flakes that come off. They don't do it so much on the on these because they are so much softer. I don't want to get this too tight either as far as details. So I'm probably only going to go about an hour. I have no idea what time it is right now. Oh, I guess they're, what, 23 minutes so far. So we, I, we haven't got too long. Oh, goodness, excuse me. I'm so thirsty there. He's got this one hair like sticking out right here. But it's not that, that wide. So I'll have to I'll have to knock it back some with the white or with the scraper. But And there's white underneath here. Let me check something real quick. Okay. Oops. Excuse me, Poncho. He's underneath my work table right now. And I just wanted to make sure he was... It's okay. These little scratchy tools. I am so glad I saved them. It's not something you'd think of. That was an art supply necessarily. They really help. I'm 
and this right here. I want to really be able to get that the darkness of his the little eyeliner there that he's got. Plus he's he's got this you know that darker ring around your iris. He's got a he's got that by his I wanna make sure I can get that. That's a little better. I want to be careful using that blue because it, it'll it can get away from me pretty quick. There's a light area, look right here. That right there is not dark enough. There we go. Let's see. Try and just add. He's got these little eyebrows. But I can't get them fine enough. I'm just going to have to be happy with, I think, with what I can get, and that's it. That's pretty close anyway. I do have a rag or a towel here to, to wipe things off. What's the matter, Poncho? At least he stopped whining or barking. Yeah, I'm going to have to add some brown here. And there's some darker. Whoops darker brown 
my head so I let blue But since I had that white under there, I can pull that out a little bit. I'm just going to keep working this back and forth until till I get the rest of him. He's got some like long shaggier fur in through here. But it's a uh, and it's white, but it's got that shadow on it from the way he's sitting. There's almost a blue tone to it in here. And then I'll go over this with the white. And then I'll make it so it's not pure white that way. This white's pretty soft. And I don't want it to look like two separate areas, even though that's how I did it just now. Let's see what he looks like. My my playback of the live on the video. There's a delay. <clears throat> Pardon me. That's the part I said I was just going to accept it that way, but I just don't want to. I don't want to. He's pretty special to me. I'll put just a tab of that on there and scrape it off. In the photo, he looks like a reference photo. He, <sighs> excuse me, it looks like he must have just taking a drink or something because it's fur right around there is kind of I 
It looks it looks darker, like he's like it's gotten wet. I'm going to go ahead and turn this 90 degrees and just compare it. Make sure I've got things where I want them. I'm just, I'm rotating the reference photo as well. That right there goes in further. I need to take the dark. More because there's a shadow. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm going to try and get that edge there where you know the hair splits. Do I need? I'm not hearing those guys working outside, but I know they can't be done. And I don't mean that in a judgmental way. I just I expected them to be out there longer. But I could be wrong. It has been known to happen before. I've seen these little, those little flakes. No, Poncho, I'm not calling you a flake. I wonder if I, yeah, I do. I have this shape slightly wrong. I'm going to put his little it's a little much. So. I'm 
And I'll turn it back to the original position. Can I get the reference photo as well? I have on a Chief's hoodie. It's cool today in Kansas. I woke up this morning, it was 37. Which to me is cold. I need like a really light yellowish tan, like a, a yellow ochre that's a very low value, or yeah, yeah, that's barely there. I know that's a little dark, too dark, too bright, I should say. But that's what I've got to work with. Just make it work. Make her work. I picked up the blue there and instead I picked up the gray but I think that'll work gives it a little bit of depth there and I know this needs needs like a, a blend of some kind This is just like a really light gray. More for shadow on that fur than anything. I want to tone that down too. You kind of see his skin in there where that hair divides. You know, kind of like a part comes, yeah. I'm 
I don't know how much how much I can give it here. Nope, that's too tight. Miss Laura is here. 72 degrees. Wow. I don't know what it is right now. If I haven't, I didn't look. I laid down and took a nap after I did a bunch of work because I got up really early. So I laid down and took a nap before this I barely had time to set it up I mean I already had it drawn out but I didn't have beyond that you know, the normal setup, the camera, and whatnot. See, I cannot get those. Little tufts of hair come out there. One hair. That's the official term of it. I know it may seem like an easy thing to do for a demo. I mean, it's, I don't know, almost childlike to do your dog. But I speak of him often enough, and enough people are aware of him on my channel that if they if they join my other live streams for heart breathings or whatnot, that um, I just figured they would know who he is. Right, Poncho. What is that noise you're making? He almost makes this, this almost sounds like a purr. It's really it's different sometimes. It's like a mm, 
want to hear that again? Mm -hmm. <coughs> that woke me up. Hey, Pacho, come here, baby. Come here. You're okay. Let's see what you look like on the camera. Let's see. It's uh, Your head looks like a bulb. bulb. We need to do something about that. This right here. This little head's not bulbous like that. We need to take that down some. There's a del I'm sorry, I'm looking at the um, live feed on my laptop. It gives me a, a good view of all of it. Because there's a uh, there's a reflection on my on this camera, on the lens. Or on the you know what I mean on the screen. That's a little better. Pancho, there's your eyebrow or your tuft. Hey, I'm pretty sure it's the guys working out there that he's barking at. And I don't think it's city guys. Mm. 
Let's see, where is my gray? Ish. He's darker underneath here. And I've got it. Yeah, if you can hear now, he's outside barking. Unfortunately, nope. Oh, you're so tough. Oh, I'm scared. He keeps going in and out because they're working in the front yard area. Where you would expect poles to be. <laughs> oh, you're so tough. I scared. I'm so scared. You're okay. You're okay. Does that just ruin it to have his little paw? You're okay. You're okay. Well, no, you're badass, aren't you? Yeah. Let's see. Got some darker right there. How long have we been going? Ooh, we're good. Fifty nine minutes. Just turned over to one hour. Exactly what I wanted. Time wise, we are good. <clears throat>
I just that blue was too intense for me. I don't know that this is a whole lot better, but I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's more like a periwinkle, kind of a purplish, bluish purple. Well, at least at least it gives it a little depth so it's not just flat okay where's my scrapey tools after that one day of losing my my tools while I was filming, I make sure to have both of them out. I'm not going to do a whole lot of fiddling around on this. I can see I got his eye too. Too light. I've had people tell me he has human eyes because of that eye line around him. So in the comments, why don't you put down, if you've watched this long, put down what you're working on, if you use oil pastels or not. Seems like the more people are these days, or maybe I've just become more aware of them. You know how that is? Like white car syndrome. You buy a white car and then suddenly it looks like everybody has a white car. I need I need something to carry this down a little further because it looks like his head is separate. And this over here is too blue. gotten to that point to where I could sit here and 
fiddle with this as per usual. Way too much. You know what I didn't put? A little highlight on his nose. That's better. That looks like him. That there is my poncho. Just trying to get that little, little bit, little bit, little bit. I'm reading the comments. There he is in all his glory. The magnificent poncho. He was, he was intended to be my, <clears throat> pardon me, like my um, therapy dog or support animal. And I think I'm more, I'm more his support person. I'm just going to fiddle with this just, just a little bit longer, but not. I wish there wasn't so much of a delay between the Yeah, I'm his therapy human. I think I need to quit. I don't want to get out, get away from that sketchiness down here. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. I'm having a scratchy throat today. It's probably the weather. Sort of like, welcome to Kansas. I'm going to quit messing with it. I could sit here and fiddle with it for hours. And I don't know that I'd make that much difference. But there's Mr. Poncho. I think this area. And here needs a little. A little something, something. Let's see if that made a difference. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to get my, my glove off. <laughs> it's, Let's see. 
Okay, see, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep fiddling with it. And fiddling with it. What is today? The 15th? 16th. Hey Google, what's today? It's Monday, October the 16th, 2023. Thank you. I'm here to help. You're you're doing good. Me and me and Google were like that. Okay, I dated it and all that good stuff. There's no tape to pull off this time because I didn't, I didn't block it out. But that's the demo for today. That's our time. Um, I like doing these on Monday afternoons. It just, it's a great way to get the week started and It ensures that I'm going to be doing something sorry I'm seeing strokes here and I want to make it look more like fur um, but yeah this Monday if it doesn't work for you let me know in the comments because I'm open to switching if if I need to Sorry, it's just that's just not right right there. Keep filling with it. Okay. Bye all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you next week. Bye all. Oh, and don't forget, you rock. <laughs>